But on another topic, there is definitely some serious issues facing the world that of course are, are nowhere to be seen on the mainstream media. And that is the massive disruption in food supply and supply chains. Like Russia just basically stopped it. So Ukraine shipments of wheat can't get out. And it actually makes sense why they're doing it. But uh, Ukraine is one of the biggest wheat exporters in the world. Brazil has stopped exporting. Argentina has stopped exporting. Everyone stopped exporting. In the US, because of the grand solar minimum, not man-made climate change, the, uh, there's massive droughts. It's the worst year for wheat in the US, I think, ever. This is all gonna roll out over the next year or so. For people in really poor places, it's gonna be really bad unless they grow all their own food, which hopefully they do if they're smart. And uh, in the Western world, the prices will go up dramatically. And then the governments might, because it's all communist governments now, Joe Biden, Justin Trudeau, the Australia potato head, the uh, transvestite New Zealand, they'll probably put in price controls and then there'll be shortages. But you know what that'll cause? Massive black markets. If you look at some of these uh, hyperinflations, like in uh, Argentina, for example, when they have hyperinflations, they have one almost every 10 years. So they're like professionals at it. <laughs> and uh, every time it happens, there's massive black markets, like massive come out. And wh what do you think they're going to use for currency, especially if there's only CBDCs at that point or the cash is hyperinflated? It'll all be Monero and uh, pirate chain, basically. Uh, it's going to be like awesome. But they, the globalist types know they're doing this. They're actually doing it on purpose. It's on top of the grand solar minimum, which was going to be bad enough. But they decided to bring in the Great Reset at the same time. And uh, so they're trying to like get everyone to eat bugs now. It's partly because they don't want them to eat meat because they say meat makes carbon, which is ridiculous. But that's what they say. And they're just rolling out everybody to, to, to sell the bugs now. All the Illuminati types. So the guy who says he's Paul McCartney ever since Paul McCartney died in a car crash is now coming out and telling everyone to eat sea bugs. It's Paul McCartney. I've uh, recently seen a film called Eating Our Way to Extinction. It's on YouTube and it's free of charge and it's in 20 languages. What more do you want? Anyway, listen, give it a look because it explains that what we eat is so important and that if we are careful about what we eat, probably the best thing for solving the ecological crisis that we're now in. We want to fix it. So we don't want to eat our way to extinction. Give the film a watch. I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you.